What's up everybody, it's me Kiff Turbo, and I'm playing Sonic at the Hedgehog 2006. I was about to say something else. So we could, we could uh, keep Lee safe in a short time, because Silver was just a jackass and trying to attack us. And Eggman, as mean as he looks, he's trying to, he just kidnapped her again. It's all about uh, who gets the waifu first, right? So, let's go and find out how we can get to Elise. We can't, we have to go to the new plaza or the new city, big city, I don't care. But first we have to complete a mission to do it. It's completely obligatory to continue through the game. Huh? You want me to open the gate so you can get into the new city plaza? Did somebody tell you I'll just go ahead and do that for you? In that case, I'm sorry to say I can't actually help you. Dude, I'm about to save your princess of Sodiana. The hell don't you want me to get in? Besides, this is a citizen, this is a citizen place. This is it's a free country. I'm just a dude. Then, are you looking for the commander? Well, if you do not talk to every soldier in town, you'll end up find him, right? Yeah, right. Can you just get me in, please? Besides, this is actually the fastest uh, mission you could ever complete in a video game. If you know this mission very well, then you'll know why this that is. Okay, but you can actually complete this within 5 seconds. I actually did it before, that's... I hope I can do this way less. Um, Yeah, under 5 seconds. Yes, there are 5 soldiers, blah blah blah. I know you're the real captain, you don't have to cheat. I mean, you don't have to hit, uh, hide it. I know who you are, mister. Okay, let's do it. I'm a fast clicker, okay? Alright, alright. Gonna do it. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, three seconds. That's good. So we already completed this very fast mission. That was incredible. The fastest time ever. Except for the new loading. That's what's actually holding me back. So that doesn't... Hmm. But I wonder how the speedrunners would, uh, how fast the speedrunners would be, if the if the loading time didn't appear so much, or if they were a little shorter. I mean, the 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 loading time with the with the map here that's taken about um, what to say. Well, you head to the town's warehouse. Yeah, the loading time takes about 30, uh, about half a minute. But uh, the normal ones where the, it's just a black uh, background, I think they're about only 10 seconds. So that's what I like. But that's probably that's probably because they want to uh, construct all these uh, structures like the house and the levels. But if it's just a cutscene, then that's where those 10 seconds uh, loading time comes. So here we are, the new city plaza. A very empty one at that. It's like a, a mini version of the New York City, which is kind of the point. Do I have this trick? Hmm, I need to go this way, yeah. It's big, but you can easily find places. And here you can buy stuff. They don't actually give me some upgrades yet. Not even the bouncer. But here's this fun one. You can actually do a glitch where you have to go right to the edge of this box here and... I can do it. You have to do that sidekick uh, right at the edges. Yes, I did it. All right. Can I get way up to the space? Please, I want to go to space. I want to go and see uh, the Doctor Eggman's uh, death egg. Totally foreshadowing of the Sonic Forces. Yes, I can still see the sun. Woo! This is so crazy. I'm in space now and the sun is right there. Also the minimap right there is it's completely black. Wow. Oh no, I'm falling. What the hell am I? Am I really in space? Holy moly, a solar eclipse. This is so crazy this game. Oh no! Here I am. <laughs> yeah, so that's a very funny glitch. I actually I did that once, and I it totally blew my mind that you could do so many possibilities with this game. 
I mean, the glitches are actually one of the funniest part of it, and yeah, uh, if you really are a competitive player or uh, a big fan of Sonic, then you may find this very irritating. There's so many weird stuff happening, but me, I still like it. That's what I. That's one of the things I actually like about this game. I mean, when I I was very little when this game came out, I was about five years old, 2006. So I didn't have a PlayStation 3 yet. I mean, those those I heard those uh, console cost five hundred dollars, or no, five hundred and ninety nine dollars, five hundred and ninety nine US dollars. That's what it cost. These robots there to look like a mechanical version of the stormtroopers. I guess that's why they can't shoot that straight. But yeah, I only had the PS uh, PlayStation 2. I was very happy for it. I played it almost every single time. I'm coming back from middle, uh, from school or kindergarten. <laughs> so I had very little need for PlayStation 3. What else? What else? I actually I didn't even play Sonic Boom because it actually came in on a place uh, on a Nintendo Wii U. So that's the second worst Sonic game I haven't played yet. But the one I actually felt disappointed in playing, that was Sonic Forces. I had fun at first, but when I go back to it, I actually see that this game really didn't do much for me. I was a bit of a hypocrite when I, uh, when I wanted to defend this game the first time I did the, the YouTubing uh, for Sonic Forces. That was my that was one of the first Let's Plays I, I ever did, I completed. So that's why I actually... So that's why I want to stay right now, that I find this game very okay-ish. It just has a lot uh, to be desired. And the last one... Booyah! Take that, Rubble Freak! Oh, did I get an S rank, please? That was incredible. Yeah! That is incredible. So yeah, Sunny Forces was the first uh, Sonic game that disappoints me. And now I see why uh, people really hated it, or dislike it, at most. But I really wanted to try Sonic Boom and Rise of Lyric. I, just, uh, I haven't tried this game at all yet. And I'm really curious to see why people really dislike it. It kinda looks fun, but only looks can be deceiving. Now let's go and rejoin Knuckles. Knuckles the Muckles. Knuckles. I saw Eggman on the outskirts of the city. He wanted me to give this to you. Sonic the Hedgehog. If you want me to return the princess, you must give me your Chaos Emerald. Meet me at my base in White Acropolis. Huh. He's pretty cocky. <gasps> it's most definitely a trap. I don't think Eggman will honor his agreement. I'm going. Sonic? Since Eggman went to the trouble of telling me where Elise is, I think I should thank him personally. Oh man, please don't be stupid, Sonic. But I guess we have to do it because plot, dem plot demands it. We really know that Dr. Eggman wouldn't even wouldn't even do that. He needs to achieve his goal. He wants to unleash the flames of disaster. Why would he ever unleash the princess herself? Hey kid, what's up? I tried to look I tried to take a look at the zero pipe, but what if the Eggman's mech showed up all of a sudden? Do something, Sonic! Uh, Tails, what are you doing? Why are you staring at him? Why are you staring at his butt? Why? Why? Oh well. Alright kids, no worries. Sonic is here to help you. <laughs> Have to fear, Sonic's here. Sonic's the name, speeds my game. <laughs> Alright, let's take them out. This is gonna be a quick one. Literally. Even without Tails and Knuckles' help, since they won't help me a single bit, I'll just have to destroy them myself. And yeah, that's one of the traps that he's uh, bringing to us. But we did it, or actually I did it. 
because they, those guys won't help me. I thought we were a team. I thought we were Sonic heroes. That was incredible. But forget it. There's the portal. <laughs> There's a secret room here. Let's hurry to the White Acropolis. Oh look, it's a princess. And look at this. All right, so let's go to the White Acropolis. Here, right now. Heh. <laughs> it's not like a sort of shadow just came in here. Uh. <laughs> now the White Acropolis. I can't. I actually like this level. Just not so much because of the first phase. There you have this uh, snowboard down, and the snowboarding in this game really doesn't uh, feel so well. I mean, most of the snowboarding in, in the Sonic games are uh, a, 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 a chore, but this one is a chore. Because if you actually get stuck right at the edges, or just uh, somewhere in the collisions, then somehow Sonic is just totally slowed down. Like, this game really, like, the ground really just, uh, is making him completely stuck, and then you have ju just have to wait just a little bit, just uh, just before you can move again. It's like something is holding me down, like a chain. Okay, those those rails there are completely uh, unreliable. You don't have to use them at all, and even and if you get into something, then you won't take any damage, except for those snowballs here. They're my weakness. <laughs> okay. But here comes the big gun right behind me. Just go down here. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and jump! Woohoo! And here's the second phase. That's one I like the most. But uh, what to, what else to say? Hmm. I was supposed to to upload this video, uh, be, uh, but I had a I was I had a little um, there I had something wrong in my throat, so that's why I couldn't really commentate. I mean, it is it is pretty cold right now this autumn, so that's why I couldn't really talk that well. I mean, every time I'm doing that, it feels like something is right coming out yes, of my throat. Yes, and it, yes. and it, it was not uh, comfortable at all. It really hurts. <coughs> and, and, yeah. The day, this year, this time of year is very cold, just like Water Cobbles. Oh, darn it. Check out that robot and the rest of the shorts. Okay, can I please destroy him? Now you can just go over here. All those robots here. Let's destroy them. Man, the game is really slowing down, huh? Yeah, it's right down. You don't have to tell me. And now we can play as Tails. And Sonic was just sitting up, up there. I mean, that's what happens when you get to another character. I did that on purpose, though. Yeah, Tails, uh, he, he's really good. You can just fly up with these spotlights. Uh, I mean, those lights up, up there, and then you're just completely safe. There's no reason to actually go down. Just fly up in the air. Wow, I just touched the lasers as, as if it was just normal ground. Yay, look at me. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out these robots. Take that and there. This is gonna be a quick one. But I actually like this level here. It's, com it's completely... There's completely free space. Which I kinda miss. I mean, ever since we got the boost, there are really big space, but... Uh, there are some obstacles just coming toward us. But heck, I do like the adventure style and the boost style. Oh, they're, they're, those are my favorites. I do like classic, but not as much. Uh, sorry. I'm just not one of those hardcore Sonic fans. I wasn't born in the 90s. Only 2000s. 
Which is why I don't really dislike it, it, the modern Sonic as much. I do think it's pretty cool, and I do um, acknowledge that there are some games that are completely broken, but so are the classic games like the Sonic Blast, the Sonic uh, Labyrinth, those kind of games. But hey, uh, in this modern days, they shouldn't have um, screwed up the, the 06 or the Sonic Boom, presumably. But hey, we, we did it. Ooh, I actually got an s -man. cool! That was incredible! So yeah, I... I do has I do acknowledge that Modern Sonic can have some bad games, but... I still put them in... I still, um... They still have a great place in my heart, like the Sonic Heroes. Those, those were one of my... Uh, one of my first uh, games ever. Which is why I can't really dislike it so much. And... I do feel... I do... I do feel that, that this game, though, can have some problems. I do, I don't... I just don't see how. Anyways, let's get to the next cutscene and try to save at least once and for all. And please don't be, get kidnapped again. You're late. Well, we had to deal with your little pets. Where's Elise? My, aren't we impatient. Sonic! Uh-uh, you better not move. Now, the Chaos Emerald. Place it there. Too powerful for you to overcome. Now, allow me to introduce you to my latest creation. This is the Solaris Prototype. <laughs> <laughs> With this machine, you'll be able to control the flow of time itself. <laughs> Rest assured, they're not dead. Yet. They've just been teleported by my glorious invention to another time. Who knows where they'll end up? It could be in the distant past or far future. But my machine still requires some fine tuning. In fact, what my machine needs in order to be complete is your power. My power? Yes, I can finally complete my plans now that I have the Chaos Emeralds and you, the Princess of Soliana. That's all I need to revive the flames of disaster. And with its power, I will be able to control everything and rule the world. So, you would be wise to remain on my good side. Yeah, as if that was a good, good side. I'm not trusting you. Or your eggies. <laughs> Why do I feel dizzy? Where are we? Oh, look who's here. I didn't expect to see you guys. Rouge! Shadow! Hi, long time no see. This is the distant future, far removed from our own timeline. The future? 
future? Then that means Eggman's machine can control time! Eggman's got some nerve dropping us here. Now, how can we get back to our own time? You need a space-time rift, but this requires a lot of energy. I see. You mean using your Chaos Control will... Yes, but that alone is insufficient. Okay, Shadow. It looks like we need to work together. That's exactly the plan. Idiot. <laughs> But now we're gonna go to the Crisis City, the most pop, one of the most popular levels in the series. Hmm. But wow! Instead, of they instead of turning into a into a baloney, they now travel to the future. <laughs> and the way you can say that is because they thought that the uh, YouTube crew were were yes. were all three of them turned into a baloney. And then Eggman ate him. I mean, that was kind of disturbing, but that was funny. Yes. Okay, can I jump on it, please? Yes, I did it. Wow, Crisis City is really crisis. Like, everything is just exploding. Everything has no tricksters. And everything is just about to kill it. Now, there are a lot of rings just growing at you in this stage, but... So, yay. What the? No! Wow, that was BS. I couldn't jump at that rail. I have to be precise. You have to be Mr. Perfect to actually complete this this, this uh, skateboard section. Second. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. Yes. Hey, I actually did it. And what to say? It's it is an awesome level. Now, this one is gonna be funny, or maybe I can actually fall down. I mean, I actually fell down once and I was like, Oh no, I'm falling to lava! Yes. I mean, down here is just lava filled. If I was sore, I could easily go up to those walls. Now we'll get this silver medal. In the hard mode, I can easily get, uh, get up there. Oh. Those damn monsters! Out of my sight! Oh, I can just get to this spring. But, uh, what is your favorite levels? Or, maybe, what do you think of uh, the Crisis City? Do you, do you like this level, despite being in Sonic 06? Or, you can also say, it's, uh, also say your opinion about Crisis City and the uh, Sonic Generations. I like them both, but I somehow like the, this one in, in 06 even more. Maybe it's because there's so much to do here. And in Generations, you can just speed all the way. But in here, it really feels like you are in the middle of everything instead of just boosting through. Now, you can't even grab those rings here. I can only grab them with the, with the Mac Shield. Oh yeah. And now I can just jump onto this, this rail and here we are. Okay, only had one uh, hit point. Funny. And woohoo! And then we're going up to the skyscrapers. I think that's what it's called. Woo! And then the last section, that's where it's gonna be the next mock, uh, mock speed level. I'll always say the snowboarding, oh, skateboarding level is my least favorite of the game. So, this is my least favorite of the four. I think my most favorite is the second one because you're just playing normally, you don't have to... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, we're close. There aren't anything trying to kill you that much. But in here, you have to be careful, else you'll fall down to your death. 
yeah, in, in the second one, there's there's a safe ground, so there aren't anything to worry about. To worry about. Now, I do like the physics of Sonic's Aquils because it's going down and it's going down and then it uh, flies up. And when, I, and when I go up, it goes down. I still like the. I really, really like the detail of his coils. I don't know why. It's like they put a lot more time on his quills than the rest of the game. Crazy, huh? <laughs> Alright, now the suit. <laughs> that tornado's carrying a car! Crazy! Okay, we gotta be very careful. Everything is just throwing at you. But with the light speed dash, I'm in a safe place. Woohoo! Oh! Yes! What? Oh, those tires there, they're trying to kill me. What? No! You have got to be kidding me! Oh man, I really hate this. Everything is just trying to attack me. All those cars, they really hate me. That tornado's carrying a car. That's crazy. That's unimaginable. That's inexcusable. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. That's that's how I feel about Sonic when he says that. It's like she has never seen anything like that before in his life. Yes, I grabbed it. Ouch. Come on, grab it. Yes! Oh, I could have grabbed it. Alright. Now, does all those cars. Can we do it? Yes! And that was it for this uh, video. So, if you really want, uh, really want to watch more, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, then please put the like on. Lock on and like on. Oh, did I get it? I get an A ring. That's that's fine. I get a bunch of rings right now. So see you later on Sonic 06.